All right, what's going on today, guys? Another video. I am officially the biggest loser on TikTok, according to Orange Peanut. So we're going to respond to this video. Um, these are massively entertaining, by the way. I just did another one on some other dude. His name was like Ark Delio. You guys go check that out. Uh, it's probably one of my recent vids. But we're going to go over this. I think this is funny because of the first clip that I see from him. Um, yeah, it's just massively entertaining. So he's got 684,000 subs. Uh, he must be pretty good at content, so that's pretty impressive. But we're going to watch this reaction. Ah! Here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys that are like, oh, you know, I'm going to the gym. I'm trying to get fit. I feel like I have a pretty decent tone. I don't need to go to the gym. <sighs> Every First off, bro, this man's hair looks like he just got out of bed. Second of all, if you look behind him, it looks like there is a fucking, like, flag up there or something. It looks like it's from a scene from SpongeBob, and it looks like he's in a college dorm room. I mean, dude, it doesn't get any more in, like insane than this. We're going to let a guy who makes no money in student debt talk about fucking me being a loser. And then I make the context of, hey, if I was this and you were this and we both pulled up and I would take your girl, there is no shot in hell that a girl is choosing this guy. I mean... <sighs> He's got a fan next to his bed. He can't even afford AC. I mean, dude, this doesn't get any worse than this. So we're going to watch this. Everyone wants to be based. But nobody wants to have a goddamn good opinion. I'm sick of it. I am sick and tired of these random people popping up on my feed and cooking up the absolute worst opinions possible and then putting Sigma male music in the background to add credibility. I've had it. I've had it up to here. It needs to stop. How's it going, everybody? My name is Orange Peanut, and today we are going to be talking about Jason Wojo, another millionaire Sigma mindset TikTok algorithm exploiter. I don't know. Um, he's a guy, he popped up on my feed a couple times with, he cooked up the absolute worst takes of all time. So um, I'm going to be watching some of his clips today and bullying him subsequently because he deserves it, because he is a loser, as we will all find out soon. So I looked up his Instagram. He actually has... 900,000 followers, which, so, so you look at that and you're like, oh, credibility. He's actually somebody. And then you look at his posts that barely get a thousand likes. I get more likes on Instagram than him. And I barely ever promote it. By the way, you should follow my Instagram, Tony.jg. Um, yeah. So I don't know if he bought, uh, followers or he just has absolutely no fans because he's a repulsive person. I have no idea. We're not here to fret about that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little background on him. He's supposedly in his Instagram bio, it says, First of all, that's like no background at all. That's just you taking a shot already. Second of all, okay, Instagram is massively hard to grow organically on from what people in the entrepreneurship space actually experience because in our make money online niche, a lot of people suppress that shit. So the platforms don't really like a lot of like entrepreneurship, go make your own money, all of that, because it goes against what the world wants you to do, which is obviously to make a nine to five income and obey all the rules and all that shit. So whatever context, I mean, we're going to get into the next topic, but yeah, we'll just let this go. A hundred million dollars with paid ads featured on Entrepreneur, um, McLaren, and some other cars that I don't know what they are. But uh, yeah, this guy has been... Uh, paying people to edit TikToks of him in hopes of him going viral. So we're going to look at this absolutely ex- The funny part is he says, in hopes of me going viral, and his ass is sitting here making a video about me. No shit, I went viral. We got 300 million views in six days. And this guy over here is like, in hopes that it goes viral. And I love how he tries to slip it, and he's like, and he paid people to edit videos. Yeah, that's how services work, right? Somebody does something, and you get paid in return. It's crazy, right? I didn't know that was a thing. Excellent content from Jason today. Here we go. Ah! Here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys that are like, oh, you know, I'm going to the gym. I'm trying to get fit. I feel like I have a pretty decent tone. I don't need to go to the gym right? because you pull up to the gym making less than 10K a month, pulling up in your bullshit fucking Corolla, and I pull up and I'm on the Okay, as a Toyota Corolla driver, that's offensive to me, but let's finish the video. Not no one gives a fuck, by the way. So you drive that car, dude, you're, you have 600,000 subscribers. If someone like myself, who's a direct response marketer, simply taught you how to monetize these subscribers, you wouldn't be driving a fucking Corolla. Cause if I had 600,000 subscribers, I would easily make 200 K to 300 K a month easily off those subscribers. So, 
I mean, it means that you probably have a massive money block behind you. It looks like you're in college still, so you obviously don't really know what money feels like, but we're going to let this keep playing. Not even a contest. <laughs> no one gives a fuck about your muscles. Most of the guys that go to the gym, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're fucking stupid. All that pre-workout that you're taking is making you more stupider. I, I think this guy is missing one key. Most people you see on here talking about dropshipping have never actually made money dropshipping. Now, I don't have key point. We don't go to the gym to get girls. We don't go to the gym for status or to assert dominance. We go to the gym so we don't kill ourselves because the gym Okay, so that's massively like that is a bold claim, okay? So he's saying that men go to the gym because they don't want to kill themselves. Now, I'm not getting into this whole mental health conversation, but that is a massively bad thing to say, okay? It's not that I don't agree with it. It's that I think a lot of men go to the gym because they're insecure about their bodies. Number one, they're not comfortable with their own skin. Number two. Number three is they're just looking for a distraction to the actual truth of how bad their life really is. And number four is it's easy to do that. It's easy to go to the gym and spend 50 bucks a month and get a membership, right? There's no accountability in 50 bucks a month. But if you spent more money on a mentor or some like big course to learn a skill set, you would be more accountable, right? You would, you would care a lot more. But you just go into the gym. It's a very low barrier to entry to go to the gym. All you need is two arms a couple of brain cells and a pulse and you can go to the gym. So it's like, eh, it's not, it's not that it's for like, it could be for, for mental health reasons, but it could also be that, you know, they do want to get girls. Some guys want a physique to look, you know, more sexually appealing. That's a thing. So he obviously has no idea why men actually go to the gym. I don't even go to the gym and I still know more about it than most people because you can see it better from a third person point of view than people who actually go. Cause people who go, like to lie sometimes. They like to say, oh, I go because it's, it's a good hobby or a good activity for me to end the day with. Fuck no, it's not. That's a lie. Okay, there's a deeper reason to why you're doing it. That's an easy way to cover it up. Gym is, is one of the greatest places for mental health. It's a place where you can forget everything, work on yourself, and just have a good time. Um, this guy clearly has never been to the gym, so he doesn't understand that. And also, he, he apparently is so rich like buy a steak dinner at some point you are so malnourished dude you have no reason to be that skinny like back in the day back in my day no like back in the 1900s when people were rich it was like a status symbol that they were really fat because they could afford the food so at least if you're gonna go in the don't go to the gym direction at least be fat like have something to show for your money he, he i can't even believe that's actually a point that he just made um so being able to go out and have a steak, like a lot of people, I don't know if, you know, yeah, this guy obviously has like no medical degree, neither do I, but if you have a high metabolism, a lot of the times when you have a bunch of protein, and even if you back it up with drinking milk and you back it up with protein after exercise and you back it up with lifting, like it's actually pretty hard for some people like myself who have very high metabolisms to gain a lot of muscle mass. Also, because I have a kidney function disease called IgA nephropathy, it is hard for me as well to gain a lot of muscle because I can't have as much protein as other people can. So if I have a ton of protein, it just makes my kidneys go on overdrive and it, you know, it, it can make me urinate blood and it can make me get sick. Like that's something that I have to deal with. So if I were to gain muscle mass, it would require a lot more work from my end because of those conditions. But at the same time, me going to the gym every morning is not worth my time because I'm too busy running a real business. So it's like for people who don't have a lot going on, of course they can go to the gym because they have nothing to fucking else to do. Okay. It, it, it's all about priorities and what you want. He, this guy literally looks like I pulled it. He looks like the guy who cleans the pools. Like, you know what I mean? That's a very specific description, but that's exactly what his body type and face is. Don't take this advice. I know just because he's a rich guy, you're more inclined to listen to the things he says, but that, that is genuinely one of the worst things I've ever seen. It doesn't matter how much money you're making. Everybody should go to the gym because it is such a good thing. It increases your mental health, your physical health. There's so many benefits. And he's out saying, if you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't make 10K a month, you're, you're a loser. Like, come on, bro. Come, come on, you're, 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 you're just trying to cope for the fact that your arms are smaller than my fingers. Anyway, let's. 
So the other piece about this is that I just don't go to the gym because I just can't stand just looking at people lift metal. I can't stand there and just lift something and be satisfied. I've tried going to the gym multiple times. I even bought a trainer at one point and it was still boring. I went there for 30 minutes and I literally left midway through the session. I was like, dude, this is the most boring shit. I'm yawning. I'm just, it was so fucking boring. Um, it's very hard to get my attention too because I'm so like, marketing intellect based to where you have to really pique my curiosity to get me inclined to do something. So for me to just stand there and lift metal, it's just not appealing. I, I, I just literally can't do it. Um, the other piece of this is that, yeah, you know, the gym has a lot of benefits, right? I'm not saying that the gym is the most worst place you could ever go, but if you're complaining about other shit in your life and you're utilizing your time incorrectly, you should probably audit where you're using your time. Okay. Also, the other side of the coin is this, okay? And you can look this up, is that men who go to the gym have worse mental health issues that they're trying to figure out. And the problem with it is that when you have worse mental health issues, you make less money. So most of the people that go to the gym are actually the brokest percentage of income in the entire fucking country. So it's like you could go to the gym and hang out with other people who are just as dumb as you are, okay? Or... The only way that I could ever see myself ever go into a gym is if it was a very exclusive gym for like high net worth entrepreneurs, people that I can network with. That's the only way that it would actually make sense. But if you're going to like Gold's Gym and Planet Fitness and all these like fucking quarter a month places, you're going to be hanging out with people who can afford a quarter a month as well. So it's like, it's just not massively satisfying for me. Let's continue. Let's take you, for example, and me. And we go okay. to up and we go to your girl. Odds are, I'm gonna take that bitch. If you compared me to you, you're not gonna win that battle. So the next time you think that your girl's on lock, I got the keys to the castle, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so first off, I would like to point out that through his Instagram and TikTok, I have not seen a girl even within 20 feet of him. Um, he is always by himself. Um, secondly, it would take like a Hall of Fame gold digger um, to want someone like you because a, we got the pedo stash going on. B, we got the one inch beard going on. C, the no muscles, the D, the horrible opinions. There is nothing appealing about you besides your money. So it would take like the, the gold digging is gold digger to actually want you. And I, I would never date a girl like that. So I doubt you'd be able to take her. Um, you see all those influencers on Instagram make money, travel the world, and live the ultimate freedom lifestyle? So another, another very, very stupid take. Um, I, I, I promise you I'm not going to be shivering in my timbers if I'm with a girl and he pulls up. Uh, he... So the thing that's interesting is that a lot of people who are like busy running big businesses, we, we like to keep our private light private for a reason. So it's like... I don't want to be posting pictures of my girl at any standpoint randomly on my page or my feed because what if they want their privacy? See, people always look for a justification for a claim that they're making. So it's like, oh, he can't get girls because he doesn't post them. Okay. Well, there's actually something in my niche called stealth wealth, which I don't really abide by, but people who make a lot of money who don't post about it, right? There's a lot of people that I know that make a ton more money than I do and don't post on Instagram. So that means that you would then say, well, you don't post on Instagram. You don't show us what you got. You don't make a lot of money. There's a lot of people who are low key crushing the game and don't have Instagrams. And, you know, they, they just don't want to be a part of this like industry. Back to my other point is that if you're with a woman who wants their privacy, maybe they just don't want to be posted. Like the person that I'm seeing right now does not even like Instagram. So with that being said, it's like, you have to respect the privacy of your partner. Just because you don't post stuff doesn't mean that you don't have any of it, right? And also, you having a ton of women is not a direct correlation of how much of a high value man you are. Because if you are, you know, attracting a bunch of women into your life, that's cool, right? If you're single and you want to, you know, joke around and fuck around, but it, it, it's an end all be all. It's, it's always going to cause drama. It's always going to cause you then trauma because you're always trying to get your next fix. So men who are high value, they're not really going around just fucking around all the time. You know, like it, it shows that you are very shiny object syndrome. You jump and jump and jump from thing to thing. It's just like, 
you're not consistent with your word as well. Like you can't stay loyal to one thing. So it actually says a lot about character as well, but no one wants to talk about it. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm no mathematician. I'm not trying to speak for the, the women of the world, but I don't think you're very appealing. 140 million views in 24 hours. Let's ride it up! On what? Yes! Let's go! This is so funny. He's so annoying. Everybody's DMing me on Instagram. At the Jason Mojo, by the way. Everybody's DMing me going, Oh, you're skinny. As they you should. You need to go to the gym. You're broke! <laughs> you're a fucking broke <laughs> So, th this guy seems to be approaching this with the whole... Everyone who hates me is wrong because I have more money than him. I don't know if this guy's faking it, if he actually has that much money. If he does, good for him. But you, you can't just excuse all hate by saying, oh, I have more money than you. You're a brokey. Not everyone needs to be rich. You know what I mean? I, I'm not saying money's a bad thing. If, if you're rich, good for you. But there are many people who are happy w without money and like... It's just a stupid backwards mentality to think that because you have more money than everyone else that you're automatically better than them. I guarantee if you surveyed 100 people and they said, is Orange Peanut a more impressive, better person or is this guy? I think people are going to be leaning in, in the peanut direction. That's just speculation, of course. But like, Also, if you name yourself Orange Peanut, there is zero confidence behind what the fuck you even sell or believe in. I don't know who came up with his name. But, like, you should probably just let people know your actual name, which means that you're afraid to disclose your personal details because you're afraid of something that we can find about you in your past or something. So it's, like, it's just funny. Like, it's just entertaining to me how he's like, oh, people are going to go in the peanut route. Like, dude, there is no girl out there who is going to be like, yeah, I can't wait to see Orange Peanut tomorrow. Like, there's just no fucking way that that's actually going to happen. Like, <laughs> Like, dude, these names that people come up with are just entertaining. You're so annoying. How, how do you, like, how do you, phone, iPhone, how do you hold up your iPhone, spew that out of your mouth for 30 seconds, and then be like, yeah, I cooked, let me post it. It's, 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 it's sad. It's, it's sad. Why should we listen to Wojo? That's a great question. Now, but what I have right here is your parents' 401k sitting right here. And people always make fun of me. So you wasted I'm money. Putting the sticker on my car. Yeah, I got a question for you. Where the fuck is your McLaren? Where is your <laughs> fucking sticker? That's why you should listen. You're not Andrew Tate, bro. You're not him. You will never be him. Nobody respects you. Like, cool. You have a McLaren. Has that brought you... Like, has that ascended you to a higher plane of happiness? Do you feel complete in life? Clearly not, because you're trying to prove yourself to everyone on the internet. If you have money, great, enjoy it, do fun things, travel, but don't stare at a camera and say you're better than everyone else because you have a McLaren. I wouldn't even want a McLaren. You know how much gas that costs? How much gas that eats up? I like my Toyota Corolla. You want to know why? Because gas is cheap and it lasts long. That's what makes me happy. It See, this is the scarcity mindset. This man would rather drive a car because of the price of gas. Oh, dude. If we gifted him a McLaren for free, there is no shot in hell he would deny the free gift. It's funny because you could say it on camera because it's not in person, but if you were given a McLaren for free, you would gladly take it. And the funny part is, is that, yeah, the gas is more expensive, but you don't drive the car as much, right? You don't make that your daily driver. So it's like, it's just kind of entertaining. I, I think, I think it's freaking hilarious. Um, cause it's easy to say that on camera because you don't know what money feels like, but then you decide to get it for free, let's say, and you're not going to sit there and be like, nah, I don't want it. Like bullshit. That's crazy. It's, it's so, <laughs> I, it's great if money makes you happy, but you got to understand that's not, that's not the meaning of life. Try to it's not about, it's the only thing. See, everybody is trying to make it seem like I only care about that. It is about the ability that it gives you to have more headspace, to have more freedom, to have more access to things that you enjoy. You can't explore more hobbies. You can't travel. You can't have fun weekends with your friends that are actually fun. You can't do cool shit without money. Okay? I don't know what preconceived notion these people are under.
But I'm not only saying that money only matters. I'm saying that it makes you a lot less stressed. If you were to take account of all the families out there who come home every single night, who can barely spend time with their kids because they're working overtime, they're working multiple jobs, they're fucking stressed, right? It, it's insane to me how we're just pushing ourselves away from the truth of just like, hey, if we gave a lot of struggling families even an extra 5000 a month or 4000 a month, how much that would change people's lives? Like, you don't realize that people struggle with shit and they don't want to talk about it because it's the truth. And if they talk about it and it's the truth, then now they have to face it. That's why people like having lies. People like being lied to. That's why most relationships don't last long because people just lie to each other because they think that it's the best way to fucking cope or just deal with the situation and they never get what they want out of the relationship. Dude, people love lying. It's just funny to me. And that's why I'm taking this whole approach of I'm just going to tell you all the truth that you're doing shit wrong because someone needs to tell you no and someone needs to tell you that you're wrong. It's just entertaining to me how this is actually like a fucking response that this kid would post. It, it, it's just funny. I'll watch a few more of these before I, I, I like get a headache or something. I don't know. This guy is it's really... Notion has been the centerpiece of my workflow. It's quite literally an extension of my brain. Rumble in my ears here. Hi, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all that shit. This is why you're broke. People who are actually making money don't have to act like it. Okay? It's called stealth wealth. You need to take your own goddamn advice. That was the greatest advice I've ever heard. If you're making money, don't act like it all the time. That's wonderful advice. Phenomenal advice. But that does not translate to everything else you just said. Where was this? Where was this guy? Don't don't act like you're making money. Don't flaunt things. Don't buy stuff. Damn McLaren. Where's your McLaren? Where's your goddamn McLaren? You haven't, you ha you're, you're not winning in life. You don't have McLaren. This guy is just, just this, 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 this I, I'm, I'm upset. Okay. I'm upset. I'm upset. I usually don't get this upset, but this guy's really, he, he, he's setting something off. We will watch one more and then I'm going to cry myself to sleep. It's not so much. Dude, it's crazy how I'm getting these kind of reactions out of people. Like this guy just had like a halfway aneurysm and like, it, it kind of looked like he was just like spazzing the fuck out into the camera. I don't know. It's just entertaining to me. I think this is hilarious. The <laughs> things he's saying that are annoying me, it's the grin he has when he's saying it. Like he's some on some philosophical stuff. Like he, he's breaking the code. He, he has groundbreaking. Like he's so happy with his own stupidity. It's so strange and annoying. Okay, well, watch one more. I got I to gotta stop. You know how easy it'd be for me to take your bitch? You might be a guy who's 25, sure, 30 years old, easy. making 40 grand a year, and you think that your girl is safe with you. Women need high value men. I come pulling up to the restaurant in a McLaren, I'm dripped down. Your girl is not going to hesitate. Has this guy ever talked to a girl? Does he know how they act? Yeah, I'm sure if you go to LA or Miami or something, you can find a great amount of gold diggers who will suck away all your money in exchange for sucking away something else. But in the <laughs> real world, like beyond the internet, um, like where actual people so exist, um, people care a little more that, than your stupid McLaren. They may point out the fact that your beard is one inch long. They may point out the fact that you're skinny. They may point out the fact that you give off, I'm not gonna say that, I might get canceled for saying that, that they're not gonna, they're, they may care about other things than the fact that you have money. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know what fantasy world this guy lives in where he's like, I think this guy is delusional to the point where every night he goes to bed and dreams that he's on the beach laying next to Andrew Tate with a bunch of women rubbing up on him. But in reality, he goes to an empty house after getting out of his McLaren and cries himself to sleep. That's all speculation, by the way. I'm not making any uh, accusations, but I think you're, you're definitely making an accusation. But I mean, dude, <laughs> It's it, it's all opinion based. So these reaction videos, the only reason why I do these are for two reasons. Number one is I know that it's going to get me views, and number two is is I just love hearing the random shit that comes out of people's mouths because I know they're wrong. Number one, and number two is, dude, it's just so sad seeing the way the world is. Like this guy just spazzed out on the camera before, like he was like honestly, like he was having a spaz attack. Like, dude, that's just so weird. Like, no one acts like that.
Um, and also if you want to say like, oh, well, I'm a high value man. No high value man acts like that. Okay. This kid also has nowhere where a girl would ever want to be taken back to. This man has a SpongeBob poster in the background with a fucking to-do list. And he has a floor fan next to a college dorm room bed. Like no one is excited about going back to that environment. It's just like, oh, dude, it's crazy to me. I, I, I don't understand how this even works. I think that's kind of what's going on here. Um, don't listen to this guy. I, I, I'm, if, if that doesn't convince you not to listen to him, I don't know what will. Um, he, this clearly is some sort of like marketing ploy to get people like to say provocative things to get views. I hope that's what it is. I hope he doesn't actually believe this. But at the end of the day, who knows? Um, it, 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 this last 10 minutes has made me much, much stupider. Um, because again, it's not so much the things he's saying. It's that he really, he's, there's so much happiness behind him saying it. And it, it, in, inside you can tell he is not happy because if he was happy, he wouldn't be trying to tell, tell everyone else how to live. You know what I mean? But that's going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on, uh, Wojo in the comments. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go have a nice hot cup of tea and ride my Toyota Corolla happily across town. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Let's run it the fuck up. All right. Uh, I got to go to this next one, and then I'm done for the day. But